Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts. I've got an idea I'd like to throw out there. I'll say right now. Let's say you jumped in the car, right? And, and you went to another state. And then through a series of bad events happening all at once, you lost everything. Your identification, your car, your money, a little of it you may or may not have. These are things to consider, right? Now, I learned a lot of shit when I was homeless. Like, basic hygiene is usually your biggest struggle, right? Because you need clean water for eating, drinking, washing, cleaning up, and for other things. Okay? That's, that's going to be your biggest concern. That and safety. Right? You're going to need food, right? Do you know how to source food if you had no money? Or if you're in some kind of survival situation like that. Do you know how to make a fire and keep yourself warm in the cold? Or how to keep yourself cool in the hot? Right? Depending on where you live. Or where you get stuck. Is your clothing adequate enough to do the job? Same with your footwear. Do you have clean socks? or your feet in condition? Do you know how... To cook and clean and do your day, daily functions without electricity or without even tools to do it, like making stuff on the spot, for example. Let's say you used a can or a bottle or something to cook your food. Well, what's the point of all this? The point is to inspire thought and creativity, right? Learn some new ways to take care of yourself that, for example, you get stuck in a natural disaster, you became homeless, doesn't really matter. Kind of the end result's usually the same for people. You either sink or swim. But the point of this is to express gratitude, right, for all the wonderful things that I have in my life to be thankful for. All the wonderful people, you know. The interesting people from all walks of life you meet. Right? And I guess what I'm really trying to say is, you know, don't don't take shit for granted because in the blink of an eye it can all fucking go away. Just like that. You know, I've I've told people before that money doesn't really mean anything to me in the sense that, like, that's my driving force in the world. Yeah, right now it has to be because I'm in survival mode, me and mom. But, like, if it, it was a just a completely different world, you know, things would be simple. But it's not simple, and it's not meant to be simple. Human beings are meant to struggle to survive. I think we here in North America really expect happiness in the world, right? I've noticed that. People expect to be happy all the time with a little bit of bad sprinkled in it. Whereas a lot of people from other countries have basically nothing. And yet they do just fine. Because they understand the basic truth that life is a whole lot of bad with some very wonderful things sprinkled in it sometimes. You know? But don't ever let anyone stop you from having a good time, enjoying yourself. You know, as long as you're not hurting yourself and others. Don't ever let things get you down to the point you can't help yourself back up. You know, surround yourself with good people. And do what you love in life. Because life's short and it's over. Too quick. I've seen it happen too many times to people. You know, and it can really drag you down. But at the end of the day, I think the best investment you can make is in first yourself and then in good people that you trust because that's how we're going to change the world. So that's part of the reason for my late night drunkenness and building firearms and freedom online every day. I was just talking to another friend on the phone 
in a text a little while ago, and he got himself a Radical Arms 7.62x39 AR-15. Those are a pretty new development on the scene, man. Like, technology is changing every day, and we can harness this shit for good. You know, if I were to tell you six months ago what my goals and aspirations were, were to continue taking care of Dad and build myself a race type of Glock, you know, one with all the bells and whistles on it. And I was saving to do that. And life changed. Dad died. Shit happened. A bunch of people died. And I got to take care of my mother, who every day is becoming a little more dotty and a little bit more strange and less independent. And we really, we can control about 10% of the shit in our lives, right? Those are things that we can control. And the other 90% is how we react to the shit we can't control. So at the end of the day, we have to take charge of our own shit. People like my aunt, for example, they, they come up with creative excuses every day to be in the vehicle right around mealtime so they can go out and spend a fuck ton of money on food. And the mental gymnastics other human beings go through to keep themselves inside the matrix really has just all but confused me. You know, I know why they do it, and I get that. But those of us that chose to wake up and to improve our situation and to better prepare and better arm ourselves for the threats we face in the world every day just for having a different opinion should wear home on you. And uh, that has been my uh, birth must reflection. And uh, I'm probably going to sign off for the rest of the day. i got a lot of important shit to do still. So, as always, keep calm, carry on. If you don't like what I have to say about helping yourself up and helping your fellow man up, neat, neat my shorts.